Hi, I'm Mo, a specialist solutions architect in the Amazon Connect team. Today, I'm going to talk about the default flows available within Amazon Connect, which provide you with pre-configured experiences to power your contact center. Within Amazon Connect, you can create various flow types that provide customer and agent experience functionality. This can be done in the Amazon Connect console by navigating to the flow section and by clicking on the drop down and selecting the type of experience you want to create. There are default flows already available that are used should you choose not to define your own custom experience. The default flows can be found under the flows section within your Amazon Connect console. Here, you'll see a number of default flows that serve typical functions to enable customer and agent experience. If you don't explicitly create and call a customized experience, for one of the default actions, then the default experience will take place. We'll cover how you can create a customized default flow experience shortly. If we start with the default agent hold, this is the flow that is automatically invoked if you haven't defined a custom hold experience for your contact flow. Note, for all default experiences, you don't need to explicitly call these within your main flow. They will be used if a custom version isn't set in the flow. The default agent hold flow is the experience the agent receives when placed on hold. During this flow, a loop prompt block plays the message you're on hold to the agent every 10 seconds. Default agent transfer. This default transfer flow is what the from agent experiences when they transfer a contact to another agent by using a quick connect. The from agent hears a play prompt to play the message transferring now before transferring the call. Default agent whisper. The default agent whisper flow is what the agent hears when they receive a call. In the default experience, they will hear the queue name. Default customer hold flow is what experience the customer has when placed on hold. In our default experience, they are played some audio. Default customer queue. This is the default experience when a customer is placed in a queue. In our ex default experience, they are played some audio in a loop until the call is answered by an agent. Default customer whisper. This is the experience for a customer when they are connected to an agent. In our default flow, they are played a beep. Default outbound. This flow is an outbound whisper that manages what the customer experiences as part of an outbound call before being connected with an agent. In our default experience, the customer has played a message saying the call is not being recorded. Default queue transfer. This experience for the agent when they are trying to transfer a customer to another agent. In our default experience, we do an out of hours operation check and a check staffing check. If it is out of hours or there are no agent staffed to take the call, then a message is played that the call and the call are disconnected. If it is in hours and there are agents available, then the call is transferred to an agent. Now we've detailed the default experiences that are part of every Connect instance, I'll discuss how you can create a custom version for a particular action. You can edit the default flows directly. However, we don't recommend this as this will apply as the default experience for all calls in that instance. A better approach is to create a customized version and call this within your main flow. One approach to creating a customized version is to select the down arrow and then select the type of default experience you want to create. This will open up a blank canvas for that default experience. Note, you can't use the create flow button directly to create a default experience. You have to explicitly select the type of flow you want to create. You can also export an existing default flow, import it and then rename it. 
this will give you an initial template. I'll show you by creating a new version of the customer queue flow. This opens up a blank canvas for my default experience. I'll add in a loop prompt block to play a message to a customer. and then add in an audio file to be played on loop. I need to add a disconnect block to this flow. And I need to name, save and publish my flow. To call this customized default queue experience, I need to go into a main flow. So I'll go into a very simple one that I have. I now call the set queue flow block. I now need to select the default queue experience that I've created. I can add this block anywhere before the transfer to queue block. And this is the default queue experience that will be utilized for this flow. So this means all calls that are coming in on this flow will utilize my customized queue flow experience rather than the default one. Once you save and publish your flow, you have successfully created a customized version of the queue experience. Thanks for listening. I hope you found this informative and are well on your way to creating delightful customer journeys with Amazon Connect.